Hello everybody, it's Sarah here again from SH Millinery and today we're going to talk about manipulating cinema to create edgeless brims and similar and what I've got here <clears throat> is a piece of, as you can see a piece of cinema now there's a corner cut out there but I'm not too worried so there's about a metre of cinema here and what I'm going to do is fold it crossways so that I've got it on the bias like that okay and then what I'm going to do is ooh, I've got my iron here and I'm going to just give it a blast of steam And then I'm going to stretch it like this. And as you can see, it goes round in a wave. So now if I was doing an edgeless brim on a hat, I would do this whole piece to go around the hat, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do something else with it. So we're just going to press it again a bit more. That's got a bit more steam on it. Now I'm going to cut off this bit of excess because I don't want that at this point in time. I can reuse that for the centre. So I'm just going to cut off some of this. So here we have our bit that we're concentrating on, okay? So a bit more steam. And I'm going to oh, swirl it a bit more. This takes a while to do because you've got to work the cinema so that it swells around. What you're doing is you're stretching the outer. It doesn't work doing it on a tablecloth. <laughs> I'd have done it on the ironing board if I could have fitted it in, but I can't. So we're moving this round to stretch. And we're moving this in. So I want this part in and that part round. If you can see what's happening. Okay. And you can also manipulate it with your fingers as well if it's if you've steamed it. So I'm just gonna sit down again. Now, if I stretch it anymore, I'll actually get a curve on this edge. So I might just do that. Let's just see. And then I've got to decide what I'm going to do with it. And it's going to curl around like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block the middle of the hat and then come back to you in a moment.
<clears throat> so what I've done is the cinema that I cut off when I when I cut my curvy bit has been blocked onto this block for the base of the hat and I'm just going to take off the retaining ring and I'm going to hope that it's dry if it's not dry I might just yeah, I might just whip the iron round it so what I tend to do is turn off the steam turn on the iron How wet it is. It's too wet, I'll put it back on. Oh no, it's not too bad. Now what I'm thinking is I might have this asymmetric. So what I'm gonna do is put my band on at an angle like that and mark it so that I can cut it um, with an asymmetric slant. So push down one side, up one side. That show? Yeah. Now remember to allow, if you're turning up before, for the edge, I'm going to allow yourself some turnover. Right. Now I've lost the scissors. I've got old tidy up in here. Now I can't find anything. I've tidied it all away. Right, okay, so now I've got an asymmetric shape and that's probably going to be the front. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is wire it. And I've hummed and hard, I didn't know whether to turn it up or edge it. And I've decided I'm going to edge it. And I'm making a choice on whether I do a pale edging like that or dark edging in fact I don't like either of those so I might go away and look for something different it'd be nice to have a bit of a contrast wouldn't it so I might go away and have a look for something else so what I've done is I've folded over the edge of the uh, base of the hat and I've put some brim reed inside and I've decided that I'm going to go for a navy contrast because the actual stripes on this cinema are sort of purpley blue they look grey or black probably in this video but they're purpley blue and I thought ah I think I'll go with with navy I can't remember which is my back now well, that's me back yeah so um what i'm going to do is i've swirled my petersham for inside the hat and i'm going to stitch everything in one i'm not going to stitch the brim reed in and then stitch the petersham on i'm going to do it all in one hit so and i'm going to do it by hand so that it doesn't show from the other side. Now I could have edged, I, I debated about putting the, the um, beach shim on as an edge, 
but um, I decided against that. Nice thing about doing this sort of work is, you know, you can change your mind halfway through if you want, and then restart again. I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. But, uh, you know, you might have a better idea. Once you get going on something, you think, oh, well, why didn't I think of that? That's a better idea. So, so there's my Petersham. Swell to the middle. Let's just cut that bit off. Okay. So you can see what it's going to be like when it's all stitched down. So I'm going to get on with that stitching and be back with you in a second. So folks, I have put my wire in the brim and I've put my Petersham band in. Now because <clears throat> I want this to tilt on the head, I'm going to have to put it back on the block so that I know how I want the rest of the hat to look. So I'm just putting my back to the back. So like that. Now, <laughs> I was looking at the bit I'd done earlier and I thought, wouldn't it be fab if it just swelled up in a huge sort of, um, hang on a minute, in a huge thing like that. And then I thought, well, that might be a bit way wacky. So that'll be for another day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide roughly how I want this to curve around and where I want it to go. So I'm gonna just snip. You gotta be a bit brave here. And uh, if it all goes, you know me, if it all goes wrong, I'll start again. Um, Snip to load off. And then I've got to figure out how I want it to curl or swirl or how I want it to be on here. So you've got to play with it and decide. Now I can't show you exactly what I'm going to do because obviously I'm going to have to play with it and and decide what I want to do and whether I want the back higher or the front lower. So I'm going to play with this <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to edge this edge with the uh, Petersham and then hand stitch it down in place. So I'll get back to you. Right, so I've decided on my shape, as you'll see here. And what I've done is I have folded over my Petersham and I've swirled it that way so that the open end is this side and I've swirled it that way so that it will go around the curves like so. Hang on. Oop. Oh, and I melted. Look, I melted my tablecloth with the iron. I knew I shouldn't be doing this on a tablecloth, but in Ujits. So that's going to go all the way around. Now what you can, I meant to say to you, what you can do is if you do this narrow enough, you can use it for an entire brim for a small hat um, if you manipulate it enough. But this, it works really well for big hats making a dramatic statement but it is technically an edgeless brim because there isn't an edge on this side well there is an edge but you know what i mean otherwise it'd fall apart wouldn't it if it didn't have an edge hi <sighs> talk to myself sarah oh yeah Oh, I've got bits of feather stuck to me. Melted tablecloth. It's one of those days.
So here's the finished hat. And you'll see I've formed the edge round to a curve and I've actually joined the two sides together so that it makes a nice sort of figure of eight shape. And I've made it asymmetrical. And um, I hope you like it. It was fun to make. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe and don't forget to ask for notifications. And if you want to become a member, please join.